you want a really tall fish story, here's one to remember. At South Head, Sydney, rock fishing is mighty popular with the hardy types. The fact that there have been a few injuries and many more narrow escapes doesn't deter these fellas. A long way down, and they're sure-footed as mountain goats. They hope. There's not much to hang on to, but they could try sky hooks. Toe holds are precarious. Often they're slippery. One mistake can mean serious injury, perhaps death. I'll get my mallet at the fish shop. The cameraman takes risks too. And he'll get into trouble if he falls over the cliff and ruins that camera. Lines, bait and other equipment are lowered by rope and when they're safely at the bottom, the fishermen follow. The ropes swing crazily as they take the men's weight. Desperately, they try to find toeholds in the side of the cliff. The sides are sheer and faced with jagged rocks. Even with a rope, it's a dangerous descent. But they make it safely and gather the gear together. On the rocks, only a few feet from the breakers, they bait their lines and get ready to cast. They say that rock fishing is worth all the trouble. They say, look behind you, mister. Apart from the climb, the rock fisherman has to remember that an outsized wave can sweep the fisherman off his feet. way for one blackfish and now he has to stay the night why he's too tired to climb back up the ropes 